Today we're programming a Purion water softener made by Dowden's Pumping and Water Treatment using a CLAC WS1 EI series control valve. We've just installed the valve onto a 12 inch tank. For today we're going to program it up as a 12 inch water softener with a no hard water bypass. To do the programming the no hard water bypass must be plugged onto the circuit board before we start. We've already done our pre-calculations for capacities and hardness and time, cycle times. So we will go through in, those, in that process. So straight out of the box, we have time a day flashing. To access the program, we will press the next and down button simultaneously for five seconds or until the screen changes. Then we repeat the pro same process. And that brings us into our valve size. Once we select our valve size, in this case it's a WS1, the options are uh, twin alternating, two inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, and back to our one inch, which we accept. To accept it, the next button is pressed. That brings us into DP off. DP is for differential pressure. For a softener, we're not utilizing that, so we just accept off. Twin alternating. So this is used for twin alternating valves. In our case, we're using a single valve, but we are going to be setting it up with a no hard water bypass. So here I will scroll through to choose that option and no hard water bypass will come up. So then I press next, accept it. That then syncs the no hard water bypass in with the control valve. Now that that's synced in, we are at our hardness selection. This brings us to our hardness selection. Hardness selection is shown up in the top corner here as in PPM. We will, we will use the PPM as our setting, so we'll accept that one. Next again, and then we're back to time of day. To continue on the programming, we will press the next arrow together again to access the next step. That brings up softening. At this point here, we're selecting it as a softener. The option there is filter, filter backwash, filter regen. And for our purpose, softening is what we want. Accept that by pressing the next. This, this chooses the configuration valve being upflow or downflow. We bring them into the country using downflow, so we will accept that. Post fill is when we want to fill the regenerant tank at the end of the cycle. So we will accept that. Okay, now we're up to our cycle times. This is where we put all our timing for each cycle through the regeneration. We start off with the backwash. Eight minutes is our generic time that we use for the softness. So we'll accept that. Go next. We're now into the second stage, which is our brine draw and slow rinse cycle. And we're using a down, down brining sequence. Uh, we pre-calculated our 12 inch unit is 69 minutes of time required. So we will simply arrow up, accept. Third step is our second backwash. And we use half the flow rate of the first backwash to achieve this. So we want to bring this one down to four minutes. So we will down to four, accept. We're now into our fast rinse cycle. The time we've calculated on that was eight minutes. So we will accept that one. Next, we're onto our salt refill. And here we are going to be programming in, in kilos and then it will put its own time in, in its conversion. Now your kilos will range uh, quite a wide range, anywhere from zero right through to as far as 590 kilos, 589 kilos. So we've calculated the six kilos for the 12 inch size, so we will just bring it back up to six kilos. Uh, six kilos and accept. And now we're into capacity. This is capacity of exchange hardness and we've calculated the 12 inch softener to be able to remove 2.8 kilograms of calcium magnesium hardness. So we will arrow up and accept. 
and now we're into our regen. This is regen auto. We select this because the unit will automatically calculate when it needs to regenerate. It has a built-in reserve using this feature. So we will accept that. We go next. So we're now at regen and we've got normal flashing. Normal indicates that we are going to regen based on its calculation, but at a predetermined time which we will set. So we will accept that one. This new board has a relay on it for if you want to drive an external valve or start a signal, send a signal to starting a pump, we can use the relay purpose. We haven't got that on this one, so we're just going to accept relay off. So the next step of programming, we want to access, we need to change the configuration of the buttons, which in this case is next and up. Again together, hold for five seconds and you'll come up. First one is hardness, and this is where we select the water hardness that we are going to be using. Um, in our case, we'll just use a generic figure that we use of 150, so I'm gonna scroll down to change it to 150 parts per million, and accept it. The hardness two is if you wanna blend your hardness back to a certain amount of hardness in, this does require specific external equipment to be able to receive the signal out. So we don't utilize this, so we will simply keep it on zero for no blending and go accept that. Regen day. Now this is, uh, in our case, a calendar override because we've already selected it on auto. So if you wanted to uh, select a regeneration time on a day, that covers you for, if you're away on holidays, you can come back, it'll regenerate on the day that you've programmed in so that you get a clean tank of water. So 14 days is a fairly standard setting. You can go anywhere through to 28, but we'll accept the 14 days. And then this is your regen time. It is two o'clock in the morning, uh, which is a convenient time because theoretically no water is being used. So we will accept two o'clock. If you need to change it, you simply just change the time of day. So next, set your hours, then the minutes will be flashing and we will accept that again then you're back to time of day. So the final step now is to set the time of day. So at the moment it's 4.15, 4 so the clock is in 24 hour. We will need to set it up at 16.15. To access it, using set clock, hold until the display changes. The hour is flashing. We will simply arrow up to the 16, accept that. The minutes are now flashing, we arrow up and set. Now the time of day is set and we're finished, ready to go. Thank you.